And reflected on course. Blue Donix out to three to one from 11 to four. Plenty of support from the smaller punters for that. Otherwise, Ashley Muck just on the drift, half a point. That's about the grip of the market. So it's, it's a two horse top of the market race as far as the punts are concerned. The rags are on the drift. There are one or two people looking for value among them. The Hobbs supporters with Affanal win, 16 to one, reasonably solid. Well, Ashley Muck is, uh, oh, Ashley Muck is uh, very slow to go. And uh, given them all a good uh, 25 length start. But uh, let's see what the early pace is like, and it's uh, Affanol when the inside is Bora Bora. These sip one and two as they take the first, and uh, they're all safely over. Ashley Muck is towards the back, so too Davenport Banquet and Grecian uh, Dart held up, and so too Swift. Prospero races the stand side of Rathbourne Prince as they head towards fence number two, at which Bora Bora is setting the pace here, and Ashley Muck, despite that slow start, Carl Llewellyn has now tucked the horse on the back of the main group. They're headed now by Affan Alwyn as they come down towards the second. The pace is quite steady. In third place uh, goes Rock Force that's uh, sitting in third just in front of Ho Invader racing four. The favourite Danso Sweets on the inside in the yellow and blue with the Rathborn Prince out right with Prospero followed by Blue Donix with uh, Grecian Dart and then Swift followed by Davenport Banquet and detached by about three was the slow starting Ashley Muck. Say with the uh, Two horses from the Twist and Davis Yard, you know, a little bit temperamental at the start. You may see one in our next race, actually. As they swing away from absolutely packed stands, it really is a terrific day. Thimberley Place is that runner in the Murphy's Gold Cup. Keep an eye on that one down at the start. But it's Affan Alwyn leading as they head away towards flight number three, just has the edge in the yellow. All skip over. Ashley Muck a little bit slow at the back and has uh, ooh, given another eight length start as they race away from us. Affan Alwyn, the outside of Bora and Bora. Prospero with a white cap, the green cap just showing up there is Rathbourne Prince, Rock Force the inside. Darn so sweet, the uh, heavy favourites uh, on the inside just uh, in a midfield position as they head away towards the next flight, flight number four, at which it's Affan Alwyn on the outside that probably just has the edge to Bora Bora and Darn so sweet and Rock Force with up on the outside Prospero and Rathbourne Prince. And a little bit slow there was Davenport Banquet. The favourites just trying to creep through on the inside. Ho Invader, which had done Woody's getting into a prominent role now as they swing left-handed, race up the hill. Only about uh, eight lengths, ten lengths between all of them there, and it's still Bora Bora the inside of Affan Alwyn sitting one and two. Ho Invader racing third. Dance so sweet, the stripes leaves the inside. Just paddled a bit on landing. Ashley Buck's getting closer. Grecian Dart will be played late. Davenport Banquet's out the back. And uh, look at this Ho Invader, White Cap swinging along very nicely as they come to the top of the hill. Green Cap, Rathbourne Prince is following it through. And then Rockforce Swift tries to come with a run for R. Anthony as they begin the uh, descent down towards the third from home in the Mackerson Novices Hurdle Race. And it's going into the lead, Ho Invader, and travelling well. The favourites in pursuit in second place. That's uh, ridden by Norman Williamson, uh, two from the right. Uh, Affan Alwyn is uh, just trying to get back in onto the course and uh, losing a place or two. Davenport Banquet's making ground on the wide outside. Bora Bora has dropped out to be last of all, so it's all changed as they come down towards the second from home with Ho Invader, the white cap leading. Green cap, Rathborn Prince with the Hughes family. Grecian Darts coming with a run. And don't rule out Blue Donix. The grey has been very quiet on that one. Tries to get going now uh, for David Nicholson. So they've coming to the elbow in the final turn. And it's the first to commit, Ho Invader, but sitting on his tail is Rathbourne Prince and Richard Hughes is uh, all of a sudden feeling very confident. Light blue colours, Grecian Dart, that goes through into third. Uh, back into fourth is Ashley Muck, who's staying on. Dance so sweet behind these, and then Blue Donix. They're the leading six. They come down towards the final flight, and Ho Invader has the edge. Leaped it by two lengths to Rathbourne Prince. Would you believe it? Ashley Muck has come through for third and staying on up the hill. The grey Blue Donix might yet get placed, but it's Ho Invader, Richard Dunwoody, committed the horse at the top of the hill, and that has paid dividends for Ho Invader, wins the Maccas and Novices hurdle. Ashley Muck comes home second. What would have happened if it got off on level terms? Third home is Rathbourne Prince in front of Blue Dunnix and Grecian Dart. A disappointing run by Danso Sweet, but beats Prospo and Rock Force and, Dart, and uh, then uh, Davenport Banquet. Swift was last to finish because Affan Alwyn and Bora Bora have been pulled up, and so at 10 to 1, the winner of this two mile test, and a good test too, was number.
number seven on the card, Ho Invader, in the colours of Mr. Deer Hall portrait by Charlie Mann and ridden by Richard Dunwood. They've got the front three in the market well beaten, in including Dance So Sweet, which was a good horse for money in the offices this morning. Ho Invader's the winner at 10 to 1. Ashley Muck, second, strong finishing, still in Winchcombe with two flights to go, 13 to 2. Rathbourne Prince, third, at 16 to 1. The unpraised favourite, Dance So Sweet, so.